Hello everyone. Today is Friday, May 29th. Next week it's going to be a new month. It'll be June. So we're going to sing the months of the year song and it'll be our last time singing May. We're raising our hands for May because Saturday and Sunday are also the last two days of May. So those aren't our school days, that's the weekend. So on Monday it will be June 1st. So, listen for May. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Did you notice anything different today? I decided to wear my sun hat. It came from Ecuador in South America. And it reminds me that summertime is coming. Summer starts in June, so we're really close to summertime. Now, we've been learning about the different parts of plants this week. And there's one more part that we're going to look at today. What is this? It's the leaf. And leaves have a really important job. Do you remember what their job is? What do they do for the plant? They make food. They just soak up the sunlight and the green chlorophyll inside them can turn sunlight and water and air and make it into food. And it's food for the plant and a lot of it is food that we get to eat too. Now this isn't a plant we eat. This is a hosta. Um, deer like to eat them though. So, if you have a leaf with you, you can take a look. We're going to see what we can notice about the leaf. So first, there's a little stem that the leaf is attached to, and that has a fancy name. It is called the petiole. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I might be mistaken. So the stem is called the petiole. Do you want to say that? And then the big part of it is called the blade. You say blade? the flat like the blade of a knife and the blade of a leaf can be all different shapes there are so many different leaf shapes now the edge of the leaf also has a fancy name we call it the margin so the margin is the edge and then look closely you see those lines those are called veins we have veins too in our body. Our veins carry our blood. The leaf veins carry its wa the water and nutrients back and forth. So, when you today or this weekend or all summer long, you can find different leaves and there's you can notice the three things about them. You can look at the shape of the blade. So I'm going to show you. I collected a bunch of leaves that I found just really close to my house. You're going to see they're all different shapes. I'll try and keep the wind from blowing them away. So many different shapes, right? And there's even more shapes that I didn't wasn't able to find. So I just got a few. Now you can also look at the veins. I'm going to show you something really cool. So the veins can be in different shapes too. On the hosta, you see how they're all kind of going the same direction? That's called parallel. Parallel means when things are all the lines go in the same direction. So this has parallel veins. Now let's see if I can find one. I hope I have. A lot of leaves have one main vein going up straight, and we call that pinnate. It's kind of like a long pin there going up the middle. Pinnate. So I could see, if you want, you can sort your leaves and I'll put all the parallel ones together. I'll put all the pinnate ones together. Let's see here. Oh, that looks like that's parallel. It goes with the grasses. Pretty much anything that's like grass is, has parallel veins. Hmm. And I don't think there's one more kind and I might not have gotten an example of it. There's also palmate. And it looks like, you see the lines? You can see the lines? 
on our, on our hand. It has several main veins coming out from the base. Let's see, this one might be palmate, but it's really hard to see because it's so small. Maple leaves have palmate, and so do red buds. Those are the leaf kinds that our classrooms are named after. And so you can look at the veins and sort them by the, the kind of vein they have. You can also look at the margin. This leaf has a smooth margin. This leaf, look, see how it's all bumpy? That one has a tooth margin. And some have wavy margins. So there's all different kinds of margins that you can see, whether they're smooth or bumpy, or have teeth. Look at this. And the fern's really interesting. Now I think this whole thing might be considered one leaf, and then there's lots of little leaflets on it. So, there are all kinds of leaves, so I hope you can enjoy exploring and learning and see what kinds you can notice. So you can see whether the veins are parallel, where they go, all go the same direction, or if it's pinnate, where it has a, like a pin, one long main one, or palmate, like your hand with fingers coming out. And so you can have some fun. Maybe you can make a leaf collection. Oh, and the other fun thing you can do with leaves is do a leaf rubbing. You might need an older sibling or a grown up to help you, but you can use the side of a crayon and put a leaf with the veins under a paper and rub it and see, you can see the margin and the veins will show up through the paper with your crayon rubbing on top of it. So you can try that out today and have fun exploring outside.